So here we have the Citroen C1 on a 14 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area of it first of all. As we approach the back of the car, uh, given the size of the vehicle, uh, we've got a particularly deep boot, so plenty of boot space. You can increase this space further by folding down either or both of the 50-50 split folding rear seats as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the rev counter on the left-hand side, the speedometer in the middle, as you can see. Within the speedometer, we have the fuel gauge, the total miles for the car as well, which are 17,843. You can change information displayed on here using these buttons on here. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we have phone controls and stereo controls, and then the stereo itself is over in the center. It's all touch screen, so uh, up on here, you'll be able to, of course, access your music, where you can see we have AM, FM, and DAB radio, USB input, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly once you've paired your phone, and auxiliary input as well. Pairing your phone is easy, just hit the phone icon, uh, then hit OK and follow the instructions on screen from there, which we're not going to do at the moment. You can plug in your uh, phone via its USB cable and there then will be certain Citroen friendly apps that you can have projected up onto this screen as well. Working our way down from that, we have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so it's off, back on again. You can bring in fresh air from outside the car or recirculate the air that's in it. Uh, recirculating the air that's in the car is a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly in here, depending on the temperature you've set just there, of course, with our heated rear screen as well. We have a 12 volt charging socket, USB and auxiliary inputs, and then the five speed manual gearbox. One of the best features on this car, of course, is this massive sunroof area just here. So we have a button, you can give that a push, and this whole section will open up and as you can see, it gives you a massive open air area um, on this car. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.